Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the LSF USB Type C hub. Before we get started, please take a second, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. It really helps the channel and helps us grow. Uh, I got this for my Mac Mini M1. It's a small base docking station, if you will, um, hub that gives you external ports for your Mac Mini, and it allows you to put in an additional uh, hard drive, 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, and I'm going to go over the price, its features, its value, the cost, and whether or not I think it's worth buying if you have a Mac Mini. So as most of you know, I purchased a Mac Mini M1 uh, a few weeks back, and immediately I realized I'm going to need some more ports. Uh, because I use way more than the standard two USB Type-C and the two USB 3.0 that come in, come standard with the Mac Mini M1. So I went to Amazon and checked out a couple of products and decided on the Elisif USB. So first off, let's take a look at our options and what we get with this dock. We get two USB 2.0s and then two USB 3.0s, a micro SD card reader and an SD card reader, as well as two LED indication lights. Moving around on the back, we have one single USB C or Thunderbolt 3.0, which we use to daisy chain plug in to the Mac Mini M1. Overall, it's good material. It is metal. Uh, I chose the darker gray for the sole fact that it was $10 cheaper. Uh, they charge $79.99 for the silver one that matches the Mac Mini M1 or the dark gray, which matched the previous generation Mac Mini, which was $10 cheaper, 69. And I like to save a few bucks anytime I can, and I didn't really care if it exactly matched. But it is uh, high quality. It, it's not the same kind of material that's on your Mac Mini. If you were to put the Mac Mini next to this and feel the top of it, you would immediately notice a difference. Uh, the only concern I have and it's not really a big one for this. I don't know how well the finish will last over time. But being as your Mac Mini will sit on top of this and you won't be moving it very often, it shouldn't be an issue. I'd be much more concerned if this was something that kind of sat underneath a laptop that you had to move a lot. And one of the features that drew me to this over anything else was the fact that I could put an SSD inside of the back and it always be connected to the Mac Mini. As most of you know or many of you know the Mac Mini M1 does not offer upgradable RAM or upgradable storage so once you fill up what you have your options to upgrade are, are reduced. This gives you the option and it still looks good you don't have some big thing hanging out it kind of looks like it just blends in. I'm going to grab my screwdrivers and I'll open this up and show you how the SSD works. So the only thing that holds the case on the back or the cover is four Phillips screwdriver or Phillips screws. Go ahead and take those out. And right below it is the SSD that goes in the bottom. I chose for my SSD an 860 Evo, one terabyte Samsung 2.5 SSD. 
I've used a lot of these hard drives in various projects and computers that I've built and I am a huge believer in this particular drive. Excellent quality. I've never had one that's caused me any issues. So whatever SSD that you pick out, you just pick it, slide it right in, and it's good to go. Uh, I'll have a link to this SSD in the description below. They're relatively affordable for what you get. And to put it all in place, all you have to do is place the cover over and then screw it all back in. And since my desk is pretty slick, I'm going to go ahead and peel these covers off the feet so I can get a little bit of rubber stickiness to it if it wants to come off. Perfect. Let's check out how well that sits in place. Oh yeah, that's great. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys how it plugs in to the Mac Mini and how it looks. Now I apologize in advance for my lack of cable management. So I put it right underneath the Mac Mini Like so, make sure it's straight. Then take the USB-C cable that comes with it, plug it into the dock, and then plug it into one of the empty Mac Mini slots. You'll notice that the notification lights for both power to the dock as well as power to the hard drive have lit up so that we know that it's working. Now, I find this useful because I can just easily plug things in to the front without any issue. The two cameras that I use to film YouTube videos, I can just stick their SD cards right into the front. The media pops right up. And also from time to time I plug the cameras directly in and I can just use these two USB 3.0s to plug those in. So it gives you a lot more versatility for your Mac Mini. And of course, the biggest selling feature for me was the ability to put a hard drive inside the base station there. As you can see, I have an additional Sabrent hard drive dock that allows me to transfer and wipe hard drives that I get. And having that as a full-time hard drive setup is just, it's not good looking. And I'm constantly powering it off, plugging it in, turning it on. So it was super nice to just have a built-in space for the hard drive. So in summary, the LSF Mac Mini dock is definitely worth the $69 that I paid for it. I highly recommend this to anyone who has a Mac Mini that's looking to expand its storage, the USB ports, wants an SD card reader. This is just a good, inexpensive way to increase the usability of your Mac Mini. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next video.